My name is Kieran. You probably some I know most of you, but some of them, some of you I don't know. Probably mainly because uh, you're in the C band or what, I don't know what they changed it to. And I've never met you in my life. My life. My life. Today we're going to be talking about Antarctica, as that's our continent. In this video, we're going to be saying stuff about three things why Antarctica is good and three things why Antarctica is bad. First of all, I want to say something that really annoys me, like super annoys me. Anyway, people say Arctic and the Antarctica are the same. I know they look the same, but, well, here's our, uh, I know they look the same, but here's Arctic, here's Antarctica, I know they look exactly the same, but there's one massive difference, polar bears, they live in the Arctic, but they don't live in the Antarctica, Antar Antarctica. Yeah. Penguins, they live in Antarctica, but not in the Arctic. That's a massive difference. I never think they live the same and polar bears are like, eat a penguin. Anyway, here's a, here's a video. There's no one there. What well, I mean by empty, there's no one there. Absolutely no one. So basically you could just do whatever you want. You could just pull out pull out a gun and shoot. You know, you know, just shoot everything. Because the population is zero. Zero. So you could even blow up stuff. And the po the zero population wouldn't give give one. An event, it's like an adventure, you could, you travel to parts of Antarctica that no one else has been. You never know, you could find stuff like superpower, like a, a pool of weird, weird water that, you know, like has superpowers in it. And you like, fall in, fall into it, like, I don't know, accidentally. And, um, then you just get superpowers and it's like, Oh, this is alright, yeah. I'm in Antarctica. And then, like, there's no laws, so you just, like, start shooting at everything. It's like... Now, I'm, I know that the culture is not really that good, considering there's no population. But, well, in, like, a snowy ecosystem, or biome, I don't know, uh, you have Eskimos. How awesome is that? Have you ever seen an Eskimo? We've all got the woolly coats and big things and you've got the glues and, and they're like taking down mammoths. I know that Eskimos probably don't take down mammoths but they could do if, like I said before, they could, you could find a woolly mammoth in a different part of Antarctica that we've never been to before. It's like strolling around, like you haven't found me, and then the Eskimos go, "There's one." Look, who throws a spear like this? You'll probably freeze to death. Not probably, certainly. I mean, it's like. Ice cold there, that's why it's ice there. And also you'd be miserable for the rest of your life. I'm not having cold. I know in England you have potholes and they're really annoying. But in Antarctica you create potholes. And these potholes are not like that deep. These are like endless really. Until you just go down and there's so much pressure in the water, just go Pfft. Your this body would just like kill you, die. So I would not try driving around in places in, Ant in Antarctica. Not a good idea. It's so weird. I mean, you're not really going to find a guinea pig. 
Like, there's these massive crab, and there's these massive creatures that are just like ten times bigger than any other country. You think a tarantula's big, it's just gee this. Thank you for watching my video, uh, hope you enjoyed it. I make other videos on YouTube, my name's BY Kieran, and if you want me to make videos like this, uh, just tell me.